Hello, everyone. This is Keith Neely. And I want to do a quick video to show you guys that there is no such thing as a driver, truck driver, <clears throat> who can't make over $800 or even $1,000 within their first year. I mean, basically saying that people who are saying that you, you have to wait your first year to make at least $1,000 a week at a trucking company, I'm not here to tell you that is not true. And what I have discovered is that there is a disclaimer to that. There's a disclaimer. Uh, my, me, myself, I went from rail transport to J.B. Hunt. And the thing with me is I broke my contract. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like they really wasn't paying me. Well, not necessarily paying me, but it's was, it was the thing that they would not have me in, on certain loads that, you know, got miles because I had like, you know, a rail transport, they have you got your temporary, temporary, um, I guess what we call a uh, DM. A DM is a uh, temporary. Uh, then after you, after like three months of being solo by yourself, they they send you to your, you know, your permanent. You know, DM dispatcher. You go permanent, so you don't have the same person. It's just totally different. So I always had miles. I mean, my guy Robert, he always made sure he got me miles. Okay. And I was I was averaging between six fifty to a little seven hundred dollars a week. Sometimes 800 depends on if he ended up getting me something to go into Texas or Iowa or something like that. But because <clears throat> we didn't go past, uh, what the hell? We didn't go past uh, basically east of the Mid west of the Mississippi. So, The miles he got me was pretty good. Then I went to the other cat and I don't know what the world. Dudes would be basically give me BS miles. Like sometimes I'd be like, it was, one thing I hated about the whole OTR thing and uh, the damn truck I had is that it didn't have any kind of auto management. Some people might say APU or your truck is equipped with auto management. My truck done, didn't have that. So it could be hot as hell in that damn truck, even though I would buy a fan. And it just, it won't, you know, do anything but I blow hot air. And I would literally have to buy like ice and, and soak like a little towel and put it on my damn face or my back, wipe my art, my arms with it so I could feel cool. But then, you know, that's the only way I get sleep. So I didn't really get good sleep during the summer. When it was hot, unless I went in the northern states and it was a little bit cooler at night and I was able to get some sleep. But, <clears throat> you know, summer kind of turned around and came, man, I really didn't get that much sleep. So I would have to basically call the damn dispatch to be like, hey, I can't, I'm going to have to pull over early because uh, I can't, I can't drive, I'm tired. Shit, I didn't get much sleep. You know, and it's also, it's like, sometimes, you know, when you're in trucking, you might have to 
because of certain situations, traffic, things of this nature, you might have to pull over early. And you know how that go. When you said you you know you got you start the ten hour clock off duty. Shit, man, just because I pulled over by five PM my body is only accustomed to going to sleep at 10 at night. So you do the math. I go to sleep at 5 p.m. And I go to, um, we're not going to sleep at 5 p.m. I shut down at 5 p.m. I go to sleep at 10, 11 p.m. Then no, I got to uh, wake up at 5 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. You know, do my uh, pre-trip and all that stuff. I don't, you know, I I don't get that much sleep, and because of that, <clears throat> my ass, you know, certain 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 occasions, I will be too tired to drive. And I really think that the last fuckers that I was with were like trying to play me, so they would give me bullshit miles. And my check was literally the last check I worked for Rail Transport was like four hundred some dollars. When I seen that shit, I was like, nope. Cause I, I basically called them and I got it, you know, I basically expressed my feelings about how I felt, you know, the way they was doing it, because you're not gonna tell me, <clears throat> you know, one week I'm doing down there. 2,800 miles, <laughs> freaking going, got loads going, uh, freaking Texas, loads going back all the way to Wisconsin, Michigan, but now it's like you guys is just playing with me. So I basically start working for rail transport and I work for JB Hut, but the thing is with them, you got to pay them back $8,000. That's any company you that does that uh, CDL training program. And I've basically been driving for no more than six months at the most. So I started, let me prove and show y'all. See, this is a student, student pay, get CDL. And this is at, uh, this is basically, so this is back in April when I started. This is rail transport. Okay. This is, this is my first check because obviously JB Hunt doesn't have a CDL training program. Okay. So as you see here, now this is like, October when I started with them. This is like, you know, classroom, $500. And also, I, <clears throat> let me go ahead and say this. I work for JB Hunt. I do dedicated contract services. Okay. And this is when I only work five days a week and I'm home two days out of the week. Okay, now my as you, as you can see, my pay is not all that consistent, and the reason why it's not consistent because some days I might miss work, and I might be sick. Like right now, I'm fucking I ain't working about three days because I got upper respiratory infection and a whole lot of BS. Just um. Uh, person who just want to have trying to get my doctor to sign all this paperwork a freaking manager is like dude i just showed you the medication that i took it doesn't have any uh drowsiness effects on me but some days i didn't work and guess this right here this check and this check here is basically like three days, three days of working. 
And that's like local work. That's like me going pick up a trailer and drop it off at another uh, location. And that's, and that's it. I'm done for the day. I go home at four or five o'clock. You know, being in Atlanta, Georgia, you know how Metro Atlanta freaking traffic. So I could be done at four. I might get home at like six. You know, once I get back to the terminal. So these are days where I'm working like five days. Right here. These are these right here. Now these right here. This eight hundred some dollars. 800 900 those are local that's my local pay where let's say my dedicated because i'm with a company that's not a company but an account with jb hunt there they have peak seasons so we kind of like the the, the, the account with we kind of like where we go wherever they need help at so if intermodal need help, I go there. If another account, like say Ross account, need help, or they say we might do some uh, hauling chicken, like you ever been to South Carolina, you see me a JB Hunt driver hauling like damn chicken, <laughs> or we do we, we'll do that. I never done it yet, but or we might. He said we might even end up doing flatbed if they need uh, some people. To do flatbed, we'll get training and all of that, and we'll get paid, you know, basically two hundred and twenty-five dollars a day, you know, just training. Even if you're sitting in the classroom, you get paid. No, I take that back. With classroom, that's eighty dollars a day. But let's say you even you just training, you know, you're not really on the road, you're not doing regional. You still get paid two hundred and some dollars, two hundred fifty or two twenty five a day, but that's that local shit that you see eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars. That's me basically picking up a load. It might be at the at the terminal, or I might have to drive to another location, pick up that trailer <clears throat> that's loaded drive to another um dc okay drop that trail off at that location and then that'll be it for the day okay and that's like basically how it works you know doing the local thing with jb hunt for me and many others like me and you'll get paid $800 a day. I mean, 800 some dollars if you work like five days or four days. And then I might miss, I might work for like three days and now I get paid like 500 and some dollars or four or something just for three days of damn work and doing basically the same thing. It's not, you know, I don't know how to work myself to death. I don't have to do three, 300 miles. I mean, not 300 miles, 3,000 miles, 2,800 miles to make no freaking thousand dollars. Yeah. And like I was saying, I don't have to drive all those damn miles. Like you can, You see, like I said, I don't have to drive all the miles. As you can see here, again, $750, which ain't bad. I mean, I drove a total 2,143 miles. That's empty and loaded. You know, that's not bad. You know, that's, 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 that's decent. Even if, um, a person like myself, even though I have, you know, I'm a, a veteran, uh, I get VA compensation, and you know, that's good for a person with two income.